going everybody welcome back to another video so yesterday i went diving with my friends jordan blake tommy and leanne and i wanted to go test out this new gun that i just got for blue water this rife marauder beautiful gun and i was able to test it out i hit up blake and he was like yeah come on the boat and you can get a break it in and you know get used to how it shoots before you go up to college and oh I'm going to college in Hilo by the way a lot of people thought that I was already from Hilo I've had a bunch of people say that but um I'm not from Hilo I live on Oahu most of my videos are filmed on Oahu so yeah but now I'm moving to Hilo to go to college over there and I thought you know might as well bring some dive stuff and get this blue water gun but I wanted to get used to it before I headed over there and so that's what we did and we got a bunch of nice fish and yeah, I'm just gonna show you that now before I show you um, the fish that I have because like, I already went, so I already have the fish. Um, but I'll show you guys that after I roll the clips. But yeah, let's get in the water. Shoot. So on our way to the spot, when we were getting close, Tommy put some lures in the water and we started trolling. What was that, like three minutes? Sure that one. That's a nice one. Yeah, you. So after Jordan landed that kava kava, it was time for us to jump in the water. So it's kind of hard to see because he's kind of far away, but that's actually a baby tiger shark right there. He was pretty small for a tiger. He was only maybe five feet at the most. So super cool to see a small one. So we had a nice omilu come into our chum line while we were doing a drift. So I took a drop to see if I could get that omilu to come to me. I'm going down, I get down to his level, and I start grunting. I didn't notice though that Leanne was dropping, and apparently she dropped first, I just didn't see her. So when this Omilu comes at me, I see her, so she takes a shot. Unfortunately though, she hits it a little bit low. I was hoping that maybe I could get a backup shot in there before it ripped off, but no chance, no dice. He ripped off and was gone. So we got out into some pretty deep water here. This is 
probably in the 90s and Jordan took a drop and managed to dive bomb this really nice move So once Jordan got that Moo, I decided to take a drop because I figured there was probably a pile of Moo down there and I wanted to see if I could get them up off the bottom because I didn't want to just blast my slip tip down into the reef. So if I could get them off the bottom, I would shoot them. But I noticed this pair of Omilus as I was going down and they start coming at me. So I line up on one. He turns a little early and I wanted to get one, but that's when I noticed this Uku right here. So of course I would take the Uku over the Omilus. So I line up, he turns, boom. Got the spine shot, first shot with the new Marauder. Couldn't have asked for a better opportunity and a better shot. Super awesome shooting this gun. It's, su it's so, so smooth, super stable. So it's really easy for me to keep that gun on track because of the way that it's shaped. And because it's so dense, even though I'm shooting three five eighth bands, it still shoots super smooth. There's hardly any recoil at all. And yeah, first shot with the Marauder, breaking it in. I could have got that guy with a 110 because he was super close. But the point of this dive was mostly to test out my, my Marauder in this open water setting. <laughs> yeah, super stoked. Perfect way to test out the gun, perfect way to break it in. I kind of wanted to test out fighting a fish on the breakaway setup and the uh, slip tip that I got going on here, but I ended up stoning him, so didn't really get to test that out, but hopefully in the near future, maybe I can get lucky and land a shot on something like an Ono or maybe a Shibi, and that will be super fun to fight with the uh, breakaway setup and slip tip. Super fun way to see how all that works because this is my first time even using a slip tip. And the only time I use a breakaway setup is on my dad's gun. So yeah, hopefully in the near future, I'll get to fight a fish like that. But this Uku was big. I was super stoked on it. Big for my standards on Oahu, living on Oahu and diving from shore mostly. We don't see too many big Ukus. And so this guy was definitely up there for me. I think he's probably my biggest one that I've ever shot. Super stoked on that. So we switched spots, did another drift, and Blake took a real deep drop, probably into 90 to 100 feet, and nailed this really nice kumu. The biggest kumu I have witnessed somebody shoot in person. So, freaking nuts. And after that, we were trolling again, switching spots, and we hooked up again. And this time, Leanne took over the rod and started fighting it.
Hey. All right, so after that, we moved into a little bit shallower water. This is in about 70 feet. And I saw a moo pile scattered around this uh, sand pocket here. So I decided to take a drop on the edge of the rocky bottom. See if I could call in some moo. I get down to the bottom and I look to my left after seeing the moo start dusting. And I look to my left and I see this nice size uku coming in and ukus are a lot easier to shoot than mu in my opinion so I chose to take take a shot at the uku instead so I start dusting and grunting and he comes right in so I line up boom get him with the spine shot again good size one definitely not as big as the one that I shot in uh in the deep water with the big gun but still stoked on it because it's been a while since i've shot a decent sized uku the last one i shot was pretty small so it's been a good long time since i shot an actual nice size uku so i was stoked on both of these although i did miss one later after i shot this one that was probably a good eight pounder and i was so sick about it because he was he was super curious i don't know how i messed it up it was kind of a little bit of a Hail Mary shot because he, as soon as I started lunging, he started turning away. But still stoked on these two. Beyond stoked on the dive. So in this dive, I was using this new suit that was gifted to me by Jason over at Cairo Spearfishing. And I gotta say, it's super, the most comfortable top I've ever worn. If you look on the inside here, the inside of the suit is so soft. And even though it doesn't have this beaver tail, he has this little silicone or rubber piece right here that wraps around the waist and it helps keep that seal. And it's a lot more comfortable than wearing a beaver tail, I gotta say that. But yeah, super, I was relatively warm the whole time. I mean, of course, this let in a little bit of water. So there were times where I did get cold, but after a few drops and you start moving around, I was warm for almost the whole dive. And it has this nice Kevlar pad here, loading pad, and super easy to put on, very convenient. But yeah, I thought I'd give him a shout out. If you wanna check out his stuff, I'll leave his Instagram down in the description below and you can uh, check out these suits for yourself. Super comfortable. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Super fun dive. Got my personal best Uku on the brand new Marauder. First shot with the Marauder and I got that really nice size Uku. Super stoked on it and it was a stone shot. So could not have asked for a better shot to uh, bless the new Marauder with. Um, and it's all thanks to Tommy, especially Tommy, because it was his boat and he was driving, you know, taking us to all the zones and Blake too, and Jordan and Leanne for all having my back. They're all super great divers. And honestly, that day was relatively slow for them. I mean, if you go to like any of their Instagrams, which I will leave in the description below, especially Blake, he posts a lot of uh, 
spearfishing clips, you'll see the stuff that they do usually, and um, you, you'll see how uh, what I mean when I say that this day was pretty slow for what they do. So all of them are great divers. Check them out. Instagrams will be in the description below. Um, but other than that, that's all I got for you yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And the next time I see you guys, I'll be in college in Hilo. So hopefully I can get some cool action over there for you guys as well. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Shoots, everybody.